so I select this color and apply it to the cell so in this way this is the process I can I can apply I can apply color background color to the cell let me show you once more okay right click or I, I let me color this cell right click borders and settings go to settings here we have three tabs border tabs page border tabs and shading tabs go to shading and uh, this is the fill color actually background color means fill color okay so take the color from here suppose this is the color and apply it to the cell fine so this is how we can add background color to cells so different different background colors we can add in this way uh, different background colors we can add in this way okay now let's delete a cell okay how to delete a cell so for deleting the cell you can see where have I clicked you can delete cell by clicking right also by clicking right right click and delete cell and as well as you can delete the same from the layout tab okay home insert page reference mailings review view PDF element design and layout so from the layout tab also you can delete the same so let's do it from the layout tab so click in the delete option it is given here delete shell and when you get the delete cell option you will get another four sub menus so delete cell left delete cell off shift cell off shift cell left delete entire row and delete entire column so I will take shift cell up so you see sorry uh, yeah yeah yes the the previous cell has come up the previous cell has come up so right click from here also you can delete just click and delete and uh, just click here shift shell up so what will happen the previous uh, the previous uh, cell will get deleted and the cell that is just below will be shifted up so you can see the color also has gone so it is confirmed that the cell is deleted as well as the value of the cell is also deleted so in this way you can delete in this way you can delete cell suppose if I want to delete this cell right click delete cell shift cell off and you see it is deleted so like this you can delete your cells now suppose if you want to delete a table how do you delete a table the whole table if you want to delete okay the whole table we have deleted rows we have deleted columns we have deleted cells now suppose if you want to delete the whole table how you want to do how can you do that so let's delete this table select this table after selecting this table again the layout tab okay if you are not there in the layout tab then you have to take the layout tab now you see this layout tab will not be uh, you see whenever whenever suppose you see now the layout tab has not come here so why it is not coming here the only reason is if you need the layout tab you have to click inside the table it means you have to select a table to get the layout tab okay so I have selected this table now the layout tab is available so click here and this is the option delete and it is given here delete table so you see in this way we can delete a table now merging tables so I have done undo to get the table back so that I can uh, I can maintain time and uh, the length of the video <coughs> so how do you merge two tables very simple what do you do you can see this gap in between table 1 and table 2 what do you do just remove this just right click or just delete delete you see in this way in this way you can merge two tables you can join two tables what do you do the gap just the gap in between select that gap and press the delete key that's all in this way you can merge two tables so I will do undo again to get back or to separate the tables okay now the next is how do you copy a table so to copy a table just see this place here here select the whole table from here if you click from here if you click this is the table move handle this is the table move handle this this the corner one yeah the corner one like a cross so that is a table move handle so what do you do just uh, just select copy and where you want to paste this table just 
control V to paste it you see in this way we can we can copy a table and paste it in a new place or in a new document also we can place the same table now how to move a table so again go to the table move handle so select the select this and you can see here I have successfully moved the table so in this way you can move the table now uh, there is one thing left that is splitting and merging table so we have done insert table entering data adding to adding row column background cell delete cell delete table splitting and merging table is left okay horizontally vertically we have merged tables we have copied tables and we have successfully moved a table now let's see how can we split and merge tables fine let's do it now suppose here can you see uh, there is a there is an empty column here or uh, you can see an empty row here an empty row here suppose if i want to type here don bosco high secondary school cockroach so what will happen if i write don bosco huh? and then in the next higher secondary so it is it is not looking good it is not looking good so what can i do here i can merge all these cells into one cell okay i can merge all this cell into one cell just right click uh, sorry first of all you select it select how much you want to merge so i want to merge the whole thing after selecting after selecting right click and after doing right click there is a merge cell option there is a merge cell option just click here and you can see all this four cell has joined together into one cell now i can type here don bosco higher secondary school kokrachar now i can i can do it here like this okay this is called merging i can make it center i can make it bold i can make it underline this is called merging okay this is called merging now again i can split also i can split also suppose uh, suppose here i add one more column here suppose here i add one more column insert column right okay this column is a very big column now what can i do i can split i can split it means this one this one column i can make two or this one cell this cell what you see here this cell this cell this cell i can make into two cell that is called splitting this one cell i can make into two cell that is called splitting how it can be done how it can be done suppose if i type here gender and gender here i want to split into male and female so just right click here just right click there is the option called split cell option can you see split cell option right click which cell you want to split just select that and right click split cell option so uh, here number of columns and rows so how many numbers of columns you want in this cell so here already two is there so i'll just click ok and number of row is one i'll just click ok and here you can see one cell is split into two and here i can write male and female okay in this way i can do the splitting let me show you again now suppose if i want to split into three so i'll just put here three and click ok so you see three parts has come here male female trans gn dr transgender okay so in this way we can do the splitting in this way we can do the splitting now suppose i'll split again and show you now suppose here three columns and two rows now you see how it comes so now it is coming in this way so it is coming in this way okay okay it is coming like this and you can again merge it you can again merge it okay you can again merge it and it will it will take the shape it will take the previous shape again if you don't want suppose you can again merge it and it will take the previous shape so with this we have completed chapter 7 okay we have completed the objectives that we are supposed to complete today and isn't it interesting yeah it is very interesting i know 
in chapter 8 we in chapter 8 we will learn about printing a document and uh, in this way we end today's class i will expect sh experience sharing for this videos for today's videos for today's lesson okay so thank you all so much god bless you all may god bring safety and protection in your life thank you so much